What's the crack, lads? Monday content coming at you fresh and early, as we always do. And we have got the Spanish League midfielders. These are part of the pack. Deco, Javi and Guti as the new legends with boosters. And then we also have some brilliant picks in here as well with Pedri, who has got 35 levels. Camavinga has got 36 levels and DePaul has 31. As well as that, we've got a couple of other players in here that are definitely worth looking at, um, which we'll get into in another video. But for now, we are going to focus on the three legends here because, yes, Deco and Javi have 35 levels. I said in my Sunday video yesterday in the preview for today that if these legends were going to have 30 plus levels, it was going to be insane uh, because you could play them in multiple different ways and different uh, positions. And also, Guti is definitely one of my favorite players to use in eFootball 2023 and 2024. Um, and he is definitely looking like it's a very strong card, especially that people's contract might be going with him, right? So we're actually going to start with Javi here, who is... <laughs> Uh, this card is ridiculous, man. 35 levels on this card is really, really strong, right? When we throw the booster on him, he's going to get a boost to his low pass, his loft, the pass, his curl, and his kicking power, right? We're also going to be getting a plus two manager boost with this as well. So his low pass at level one with the booster is going to be 91 overall, just for being in the team with a play style proficiency that suits him. And his loft, the pass is going to be 83. And of course, the kicking power and curl are less important. Now, I would definitely be playing Javi as a attacking midfielder because of his lack of defense and his lack of physicality and stuff like that. I would always definitely play him as your three-man midfield with him being the attacking kind of fulcrum between the strikers and midfield. So if you had Declan Rice and Bellingham, say, as a box-to-box -box and an anchorman or Casemiro or Rodri and, you know, another player there that can do it like Barella then I would free up Javi and play him in that kind of Pedri role, that kind of messy role, because he's got everything you could want. Double touch, soul control, heel trick, one touch pass. He also has way to pass and true passing. He doesn't have low lofted pass, which I'm a bit, a bit kind of uh, miffed about, I suppose, if you were to get Javi. But everything else is phenomenal, right? So if we take a look over at him on eFootball DB with those 35 levels, and we're going to be getting with these stats here, we're going to be getting a plus four to low pass and lofted pass. So when I'm training him up here, I'm probably going to go to seven just to get that lofted pass at 90. Now, I would kind of argue that you don't really need the lofted pass at 90 because you're not going to be spraying balls too, you know, too far away. He's going to be all about like kind of like little triangles, touch and go. Um, I would definitely focus as an attacking midfielder on his acceleration and balance because they're his weak points. But I mean, I do like leaving that at that for now, right? Dribbling then, I probably would try and get his dribbling up to 88 to have that as the 90 zone. You're going to have 97 ball control. You're going to have 90 dribbling and you're going to have 93 tight possession. Dexterity is the big one here for me. So I'm probably going to go to maybe about 18 here or 14 here. Um, and then that obviously only leaves us with 72 speed. I know a lot of people will say that that 72 speed is too little, but for an attacking midfielder player, if you are picking up pockets of space like this with Javi, you won't really need that. Plus, for if you are using Ten Hag, you're going to be getting a plus three boost, which will give you 75 speed. Now, if you wanted to roll that back a little bit, I definitely think you could with the balance and, you know, have him, like, don't worry too much about the acceleration and the... Uh, uh, offensive awareness you could just take four off that and give him give him four more into lower body which will give you 78 speed and 88 stamina which will turn into 90 that's a phenomenal card for an attacking midfielder as well as having the finishing at 77 so that's a really strong card for that and then if you were to train him up with a couple of little skills i probably would give him low lofted pass um, that is kind of the one skill that I would give him that I think is a must if you're playing him as an AMF. Definitely, right? Next up, we have um, Deco, right? His Barcelona teammate from 05 06. Again, he's got unwavering form. They have got, he's got the technique. Uh, booster which I think is a better booster uh, based on his the rest of his stats because he's he gets the low pass this is what I thought Javi should have got lads uh, to be honest with you ball control dribbling type possession low pass and then be able to train up the rest of it you know because he gets a boost to his curl and his kicking power which is not really his game plus Deco even without the booster has better stats in that or pretty much similar stats to that plus as well as that uh, Deco's got a lot of shooting player skills so he's kind of a better attacking midfielder yes you can play him as a CMF as well but he doesn't have double touch he doesn't have soul control he does have one touch pass but again he doesn't have low lofted pass so it's it's kind of a strange choice because i would have said that you give all these guys you know the best passing player skills right but anyway we've got unwavering form again with deco here looks like a boss and of course this is going to be a 35 level player as well so when you are training him up 
I would say that you've got a similar kind of uh, thing to train up with, with Deco, right? So again, we're going to be getting a plus four to ball control, dribble and tight possession and low pass. So we don't want to go higher than we need to with any of those, right? So for the passing, because we're going to be getting a plus four, I would probably leave that at 91 with the manager boosts and stuff like that. And then a plus four on these, I'm probably going to leave that at 86. So when you are actually having this player here, his base stat is going to be 86. When you get the manager boost for ball control, it's going to be 88. And when you get the booster in game, it's going to be that as well. So that is where I would go with it. Um, if you are going that route with him, I think that that's definitely something to, to keep an eye on. You just have to train him up a little bit there. Um, but it's a phenomenal, phenomenal start to this card, right? Dexterity wise, again, he has the same kind of issues as Javi with the balance, the acceleration and the offensive awareness. But Deco is actually quicker. He's more nimble. He's more mobile. And of course, then if we want to decide to throw a bit of finishing on him, we can do that as well. If we are playing him as a CMF, I think that's basically where you need to play him, right? 78 for speed. That'll give you 80 speed. And then from the shooting here, I mean, this card, lads, to be honest with you, it looks completely broken right now um, based on this. I mean, even if we pump up the dribbling a little bit, that'll give us plus 90 like two in every uh dribble stat which we don't really need to do plus you can also get that dribble that finishing up to 85 if you take a lot of shots or you could max out the the dribbling a little bit more if you wanted to go like that even if you wanted to be a little bit aggressive you can get actually get 70 aggression there so listen this card is insane i think it's one of the best cards that they've released stat wise because of the stats that you have for the position that he's in and for the stats that you can actually go up with um it's 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 a mad card lads genuinely it's a mad card 35 levels on deco is probably a little bit too much i think they might have um broken this card but let me know what you guys think because on the surface i know that cards don't always um play how their you know their stats are so to speak um but definitely this is definitely a card that you could that you could have um very 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 strong uh in the game because i think even if you get his dexterity and take away some of his finishing i mean you can get his dexterity up there to 88 which means that you're going to have ball control dribbling tight possession low pass lofted pass um free kicks and acceleration balance all into the 90s zone which has to be you know one of the best cards on paper that they've ever released in terms of just pure raw stats right that brings us on to last but not least Guti and I want to spend it a bit of time spend a bit of time on Guti um, but I don't want to keep this video too long again he has technique so his player skills and player stats are going to be very similar to Deco right he's double touch soul control one touch pass what you want chip shot control he has super sub as well, which I think is the biggest thing with this card, because if you have got a beastly squad at the moment, it might be hard to integrate Deco and Javi into it because of their lack of physical presence. If you are used to playing them as a CMF, if you're used to playing Messi as an AMF or Neymar or any of those boys, you can just slot him in very, very nicely. But I think with Guti, he offers something completely different. 31 levels. He's got excellent player skills. He's got excellent player stats. He's got brilliant shooting stats as well. He is the ultimate touch, go and touch and finish. That is why what i would call him he's a touch and finish kind of touch and go type player very quick on the ball he's not going to be as fast but when we train him up we're going to show you a lovely build again now we're definitely going to be using him as an amf right 100 using him as an amf and if you are looking to use him with this and you're trying to get the boost on him i definitely would recommend that you kind of like pay attention to what his uh max booster is going to be because when you are using players like this you usually have to use them as a kind of like not a one trick pony but you have his specialized role that's what i would that's what i would say right so if we are using that and the booster is going to be given a low pass boost we're also going to be getting the plus two to the manager boost that means that we're going to be getting a plus four to his low passing that means that we just have to go to 86 with that and it means that we don't have to go any higher than 86 with any of those stats there right so even at that eight into passing six into dribbling that's going to give us a very very beastly player with ball control two low pass all into the 90s those four stats are going to be in the 90 zone right shooting i would definitely say 78 shooting to give you a plus two onto that to get you 80 shooting curl is going to be very something that we look at again in a second but the big thing with this car lads is getting his stamina up to at least 78 that will get his speed up and then you can pop the rest into dexterity which will give you 88 acceleration i have used this gooty card or the previous gooty card and it's a monster his player id his position and everything is brilliant on it his um player skills everything like these cards are just ready made to dominate 
if you were using him as a super sub, I think this card even gets more exciting because I would actually be taking away something like this, maybe, and going the speed. I wouldn't be going that high with it. And I would probably potentially put up his shooting to go like 83 so that you'd have 85 finishing when you bring him on as an attacking midfielder. So they're two little quick builds. But lads, we will focus again on these, which I think these over nearly shadow the legends if you have a better chance of getting them. You know, Pedri, DePaul and Camavinga look insane. So if you wanted me to do a video on them and show you the builds, show you the review on them, I probably will do it. Just give me a little uh, comment in the messages below and uh, we will get on it. So until then, lads, I will talk to you in a bit. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip. Peace.